This is just a quick video about uh, collaborating with GarageBand. Uh, I'd like to send this project, which has several tracks and some voice recording, to a friend, uh, and he would like to make some tweaks and some edits and maybe move some tracks around. Uh, clicking on Share doesn't really help you with this scenario because these options all create a mix down, uh, and that's not what we want in this case. I want him to be able to actually open the project file and make changes that way. Uh, I initially thought that I would just uh, go to the project file here in Finder uh, and then I could uh, attach it to an email or maybe uh, send it via some uh, large file sharing service. Um, but uh, you can't. Um, if you try to attach it to an email, you'll find that it's grayed out. When I tried to drag and drop it into Google Drive, uh, it just wouldn't work. I couldn't send it. That's when I realized, oh, uh, a, a GarageBand project file uh, has some something different about it that I don't understand. Um, when you right click on it, you'll notice it says show package contents. And if you click that, you'll see that your file is actually more like a folder and in it are other folders uh, with uh, nested folders and files in those. So um, you can't just email uh, a folder full of folders, obviously. So that's when I realized, of course, if you want to send this to someone, you've got to right click it and select uh, Compress, which will create a zip file. And now you have something uh, that's actually a lot smaller, um, so you could attach it to an email. Or uh, I'm still going to use uh, Google Drive, and now I can drag and drop it into Google Drive, where my friend can download it, unzip it, and then he can open it in GarageBand. Uh, and as long as we uh, have all the same audio units and VST plugins and all that, we should be able to uh, share and collaborate our file without any trouble. So it may seem an obvious step. Um, I didn't realize it at first because I didn't understand that a uh, GarageBand project file is, in fact, uh, sort of a project folder. Okay, so I hope that tip is helpful, and uh, have a good day.